Now the next thing we're gonna address is we're gonna really address that ankle strength. Now what happens in sports is that if you have a high cleat, let's say you're a basketball player, you're a football player, or maybe you're an athlete that, um, like a hockey player that wears a boot, you don't get the same mobility and the strength in your ankle, and, that, and then that foot uh, and the proprioception and the strength of your feet kind of turns off. So we're gonna use the pads to not only strengthen the feet, but we're gonna look at strengthening the, the ankle, especially because a lot of multi-directional movements, when you go to break down and turn, you're never always up and down, you're in different positions. So we're gonna work the inversion and the eversion of that ankle on the pad to really restore the integrity of the actual ankle and the musculature and the mobility in that ankle joint. So I'm gonna get onto the pad and I'm gonna get my, um, the, the, the front of my foot, the ball of my foot onto that pad itself. Once I feel comfortable and I'm in the right positioning, all I'm going to do is make sure that my feet are either slightly um, off of the, uh, the hips, so slightly shoulder width apart, or just slightly in line with my hips. And I'm just going to go in and tap the wood and then come out. So I get that inversion, eversion, and you can see that my ankle and my foot is really working. And you can see that my feet are gripping the pad to really help strengthening up the whole toe complexes. So like I said before, you don't just go up and down in sports, so you're not always in a linear fashion or vertical fashion by just jumping vertically or running linear. You, if you're a multi-directional athlete, we know that when you cut and I wanna burst off to the side, you can see that my foot is in a different position. It's in a position where I have to fully extend and drive through it, and it's not up and down with my body underneath me. It pushes away, and then I lock it out, and it's in a position that I need to work that ankle. So if I'm gonna go inside edge, and I wanna now go inside that and really push off as a cross, crossover step, I gotta now work that positioning in my foot and the integrity of that foot, or it's gonna to lead to injury. So if that foot isn't strong enough, that, if that ankle isn't strong enough, and it doesn't have the right mobility in the ankle joint itself, that's where, uh, that's where you can get a lot of injuries in that knee. Because the structure of that knee and the foundation just isn't there, because everything starts down the chain and works up. So that's why it is very important that we work on the strength, work on the different movements that you would in sports through different ranges, with the actual balance pads itself. I'll see you guys next time.